7 a.m. already. Hi. My shift starts in 30 minutes. Kiki. Which can not sleep at the least like this? Even thank you today and ask for your strength. Please, Lord, protect me today. Amen. <sighs> but wait, though. When will I start getting to work before everyone else? Eh? Like, when will they stop knowing me as the late comer? They say punctuality is the soul of a business. Kike Lomo. Change, change all, because it's a litness eh? It's too much. the only one that always complains about traffic hmm? it's not the same traffic every other person go through and they still make it to work on time yes that is because they plan they plan and they include traffic in their course of arrival and they make it on time for you no People drop off their kids at daycare and they still make it to work on time. <laughs> but you, Kike, <laughs> you don't even have any kids and you're this bad. Kike, eh? When you don't have kids, what will you do? <laughs> no, tell me, what will you do? I tell you, eh? You just get fired, honestly. <laughs> hey, God. But no. This is not a laughing matter. What am I even laughing? <laughs> Come on. No, stop. Stop laughing. Okay, be serious. I actually knew you were going to come in late. Uh, so I get the report with Chad Nuss. She will hand it over to you. All right, thank you. Meanwhile, I have a secret to tell you. What is it? You know Bobby, the singer? Bobby, Bobby. Yes, yes, yes. Bobby now. Yes. Is he our patient? Yes. I admitted him last night. He has HIV. What? <gasps> HIV. Shh. I told you it's a secret. Of course it's a secret. How? Bobby. HIV. Yes. You know what? Just go in and attend to your patients. I'll see you later in the evening. We could just a bit. Alright. That depends on if I finish my work or oh. you like gist. I forgot him. I knew you don't finish work on time. I beg. <laughs> it's too early. Stop that. Just Bye -bye. go.
Hey God, completely forgot I've not eaten since morning. Eh? Today's shift was so busy with very demanding patients. Completely forgot about myself. Healthcare professionals. You people are always busy taking care of others that you forget about yourself. Listen, I'm just so tired. Professionalism is the skill, competence, or character expected of an individual in a trained profession. Healthcare workers can use four categories to describe their concept of professionalism. Better called the square of professionalism. Number one is respect yeah respect for others as expressed in personal experience confidentiality of patients and co-workers personal information mm. cultures behavior Tolerance of differences and effective communication. Yes. I still remember, I still remember the three of them actually. Yeah, I remember the remaining three. Okay. Hmm. That lecturer that won't let us rest until we know them all. Hmm. Number one is respect. Number two is service. Yes, yes, service. Hmm. Service means shifting focus from oneself to others, mm -hmm. showing commitment to one duties. Number three, number three is support. <laughs> yeah, support. We support by respecting organizational policies and procedures. By maintaining clean workspaces, by reporting damaged equipment or supplies, and respectfully disagreeing with our employers when necessary. And then number four is, oh my goodness, I can't believe I still remember this presentation like it was yesterday. Hmm. Okay, number four is growth, yes. Growth. Hmm. We show growth by learning more about one's job and other aspects of the organization. And the contractors that help run the facility smoothly. Yes. So, the square of professionalism is respect service, support, and growth. Oh my god, that was awesome. Okay, let me call Loma. Hello. <laughs> oh love, <no>, baby. <laughs> How far now? What's up? Do you remember that popular musician, Bobby? Yes. I love that guy. Hope he's okay. He has HIV. What? Please keep it a secret though. Of course. How are you? Hey, my dear. I'm just hungry. Oh. That's the only problem I have right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just take care of yourself. All right, I will. You too, okay? 
Okay, bye. <laughs> Always hungry. <laughs> of shopping mm, I know <laughs> just last week you told me you were broke and it's not your payday so what's up can you keep a secret Wait. of course now you know your secret is safe with me it's Bobby he's asking me out what uh -huh. which is disease <laughs> I think it's the secret what infects you don't worry about that one. When we get to that bridge, we'll know how to cross it. Don't worry about me, okay? Just go in and shop what you came for. Baby, they fear me. I know. Just go in and buy what you want to buy, okay? Who now? Hey. <laughs> I don't understand this. Hello, my. Hi. How far now? Hello, Kike. You remember that musician I told you about? Yes, now, Bobby. Bobby, the musician. Your patient? The one that has HIV. Yes, yes. He's asking Evelyn out. What? With HIV? He will infect her with the virus. This message is very sensitive. Oh.
wait. Where are you making this call from? Hello? Hello, Kike? Hello? Hey. Thank God I know where she works. Wonders shall never end. I got everything in my video. But, well, anyway, no problem. Uh, okay. I will have enough comments online now. <laughs> ha. has HIV and is being treated in this hospital. Funny enough, Bobby doesn't have HIV. He only came in here for malaria and he was discharged this morning. The medical director is planning to go and tell them that it is a wrong information. But these people are claiming to have proof from one of the nurses in this hospital. I'm dead. Why? The information is not true. Why are you so concerned? What have I done? How did I forget patient confidentiality? Why did I forget where I was? Why did I make that call? Why was I this careless? Me. Arrested. Chai, Kiki. <laughs> Look at what my selfishness has turned me to. Bobby asked me out. I didn't want him to be distracted by Kiki. Yes, Kiki. She always takes our rich patients. So I told her that Bobby has HIV and she would not show any interest. And if Bobby tries, she would just show him red lights. How would I have known that, that all these events would turn out just because of my little lie? Look at me. For once in my life, I was arrested. Me! <laughs> A seasoned healthcare professional. Oh. I should have known better. We are the ethics of healthcare profession. Sincerity and compassion. 
emotional stability and maturity. <laughs> there is need to be more emphasis on professionalism in healthcare. Every healthcare professional should be reminded that professionalism includes accountability for doing what is right, dedication to high standard of performance and precision, respect for patient's dignity, privacy and confidentiality, cleanliness, pride, satisfaction and fulfillment on the job. <laughs> Working with team members, therapeutic communication with clients, I'm no one intentionally. Perform skills according to sound knowledge and good judgment. I still cannot believe we both lost our jobs at that reputable hospital because of unprofessionalism. Hello, Kiki. Look, I just want you to know that I would always be there for you. Whether or not you did the worst thing or the whole world doesn't want to talk to you. That's what friends are for. Chin, I don't understand. Let's hang out tonight. Seven Star Restaurant, 6 p.m. Kiki, you just lost your job. So you can't tell me you'll be going to work. <laughs> so joblessness is not an opportunity for romance. Exactly. I, 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 don't, I don't mean it that way. Okay. I'll gladly see you by six. It's time. Time for what? Time to give you a chance. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> am I dreaming? <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you by at six. <laughs> okay. Okay. Never learn the use of an equipment in front of a patient. Yes, you got a new job. I have your appointment later. 